Hi everyone, meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We are uh, here, SNS Storm Chasers, uh, meteorologist Joe Chaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com, and uh, you can also download my weather app. Uh, and in the meantime, we're going to look at some rather busy conditions in the tropics. Even though we only have one named tropical storm with Gaston, we have a couple of uh, other things to look at, of course, is we still have the same system uh, moving along to the Bahamas, but we have something new uh, that started developing yesterday uh, off the Carolinas and not too far from Bermuda, and we're going to take a, a look at that uh, with regards to what's going on this morning, and it looks like there's actually a weak low center. Here's Bermuda. Uh, there's It looks like there's a weak low center south and, and west of Bermuda with uh, a fair amount of thunderstorms that have been developing overnight and this morning. One of the issues here is that there is a lot of dry air around this, so um, that might mean that, that development of the system is going to be a, a slow process, but it looks like it wants to either sit around for a little while or eventually make a drift to the west. Now, with regards to what that all means uh, in terms of uh, impact, if any, and we'll jump to uh, uh, the uh, model plots of this, and, and you can see they all pretty much do the same thing, which is to take this to the west uh, over the next three days, uh, which will take us to Tuesday, and then uh, a number of those models sh sharply turn it to the right. And this actually makes a lot of sense considering what we're see going to see in the upper layers of the atmosphere, uh, which we'll get to in a second. So even if this system were to develop into a tropical storm, and I'm not saying that it is, but even if it does, um, it, it will probably head toward the Carolina coast and then turn sharply to the right after that because we're going to have a deep trough here developing later this week in the northeast, and that's going to keep things um, uh, from moving up further north. In fact, I can show you now here on the uh, upper air. This is a, a little short wave that comes through on Monday, uh, but we still have this ridge that's in control here throughout much of the east. But notice what happens. As we get toward Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, the westerly winds aloft actually start dropping southward because of a strengthening upper air storm in eastern Canada. So this is going to bring down a shot of, of cool air for the, the latter part of next week and into the Labor Day weekend. But it also, when you have a flow like this, again, this is a bit pretty much a northwest uh, to southeast wind uh, in the upper layers of the atmosphere. You can't move things up the east coast with that. So we'll be protected even if that system were to develop. Let's uh, jump now to the system in the Bahamas uh, where we have, uh, we still have the low pressure center on the uh, western, uh, on, on, on the western edge of any thunderstorm. So it's just somewhere right in here is where the low center is. It's a little hard to pick out this morning. It's very broad and the thunderstorms remain very disorganized. You know, we continue to see the models are all clustered and taking, uh, because the system has stayed weak, uh, the low center is going to move into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico, and they kind of cluster into the north central Gulf after that. Now, the question is whether the system is going to wind up developing or not, and the uh, global weather models really don't do too much with it. So, uh, you know, I'm starting to wonder whether anything's going to come out of this at all. So we'll see what happens. I, I think uh, it's just a matter of watching things uh, develop uh, hour by hour with this. Uh, in the meantime, uh, we're going to jump over to the, the to Gaston, if I could find him. There he is. Okay. Uh, tropical storm Gaston out in the central Atlantic, and you can see the latitudes uh, here between 50 and 55 west and between 25 and 30 north. There's been this uh, gigantic upper low to the south and west of it, that uh, caused Gaston to undergo a, a lot of shear yesterday and weakened it. But now that upper low is continuing to drop southward and Gaston is still inching north, northwestward. So it, it has moved out of that shearing environment and it looks like it's becoming better organized again. So I would not at all be surprised to see this becoming a hurricane later today or maybe uh, tonight into early Sunday as it continues to move uh, northwestward uh, and uh, it will, again, not be a factor in anybody's weather as it will stay out to sea. Now, just to uh, go back to this, and let me just get you a wider view here uh, to take a look at the situation with the winds aloft. This is toward the end of the week, but I'll back it up. And here's that big ridge. So the big ridge protects us from anything that's in the Bahamas. Uh, you've got that little disturbance that's 
off near Bermuda. So it kind of protects us from that. And it also will eventually slowly drive it uh, to the northwest. But then you've got this trough that's going to develop uh, in the northeast. And, and even if it weren't the case, uh, you've got a northwest flow here that runs from Lake Winnipeg to uh, the northeast coastline and then straight east from there. You can't bring tropical storms up the coast with a flow like that. And then that trough strengthens. So it looks like some nice cool weather for the end of this week and into this weekend. And then beyond that, that northwest flow kind of continues and uh, the global weather models do bring out another tropical storm uh, early next week coming off the African coast and then heading westward. But you know, we look at these trough positions the way they are, they, they don't seem to be conducive to anything um, hurting the East Coast. So unless you've got, you know, and I'll say this again, unless you see uh, what I call a 180 flow, if you, unless you see a trough out to our west with south winds or at, at least south-southwest winds up and down the East Coast, it's going to be very hard to almost impossible to bring a tropical system up the eastern seaboard. So we remain safe from that standpoint. As far as the local weather is concerned, uh, there's nothing uh, going on uh, with respect to uh, any rainfall. Just real quick, we'll pu punch up the surface map and we just back it up. And you can see we've got high pressure through the weekend. A couple of weak fronts come through as we go through this week, and then a little bit of a stronger push of dry, cool air. You can see it all up here building into eastern Canada. And a nice big high uh, builds down. Uh, we're going to, get, going to get quite cool in New England late this week. Uh, and I think some of that cool air will extend down to us going into the Labor Day holiday weekend. And in fact, it could stay pretty much uh, on the cool side right through Labor Day. So it might be something to look forward to once we get through the middle of, the, of this week. So have a good day. Don't forget SNS Storm Chasers and meteorologist JoeChoppy.com and WeatherLongIsland.com for all your latest weather and storm chasing needs.